everyone, it's me. Who else would it be? So, okay, Lola. Anyways, I am recording from my bedroom, but I'm not recording on the bed. You see my messy ass bed because making the bed makes no sense when you've got two dogs, <laughs> especially when they think they rule the house and do whatever they want. Like, I don't even know what this one's doing right now. So, um, I had a really good video recorded, and I just reset my computer a while back, like about a week ago, and I forgot that I did that, so I didn't reset the sleep settings, and I didn't touch the thing for like five minutes, and it shut itself down. Sucks. I was talking. I just, so that video is like gone. Whatever, Lola, whatever you're doing, stop. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I was, there's my curtains. It's really cool ones I was talking about, but the, sh the shower, the curtain rod is bent because, um, you know, <laughs> somebody bent it <laughs> a while back. Not recently because, yeah, um, I finally got the, car or the carpet ripped out of the closet. Yay! And it smelled weird, so I had to rewash all my clothes. So they would get that weird smell out. I gotta rip out this carpet eventually. It's like from the 70s and it's ugly and you can probably see the stains that I didn't put in it. All the carpet in this house was like thrashed. And just when we moved in, we didn't rip it out of the bed or bedroom, but we ripped it out of all the other rooms. And, um, because I like carpet in the bedroom, I don't know, but this carpet just has a weird smell and there's like this wet spot that never goes away or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me. Um, so I gotta start ripping this up. I have a whole bunch of stuff to do and I'm just like in no hurry to really get it done. It gets done eventually. Like I have a door on my closet. I finally did that months ago though, but you know, it took like nine months before there was a door on my closet or a door on my bathroom. Um, and then somebody may have ripped the door off the bathroom, but now it's back up. So, yay. Um, and I'm saying somebody because due to things, I'm not really allowed to mention stuff or people, but yeah, and neither are you. So I will have to delete any comments. You know, that specifically are geared toward somebody specific. Um, it's because I may have a restraining order on this person. And, um, you know, it goes both ways, apparently. So, like, anything this person may or may not say about me or his friends may not may or may not say or, you know, it goes both ways, I guess, apparently or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's been a fun thing. I've been doing a lot of court and a lot of visiting with the police and, um, said person, somebody, I don't know who, somebody may or may have not cheated on me with several men. So... Yeah. Life. <laughs> I don't know who that is, though, because, you know, it could have been any one of my exes that have cheated on me with men recently. Um, who knows? If you want to inbox me, that's totally cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> but so I'm just dying to let that one out. Like, I'm trying not to talk about anyone like that so but that one just oh um <laughs> boom. happy happy joy joy which is funny because you know like my hair looks great for that now so that's funny because I don't know an ex may have liked my hair long and wanted me to be more feminine Ironically, go figure. Um, so.
So, yeah. And all this time I've liked short hair. <laughs> but let, let it grow because, you know, I wasn't feminine enough. Uh, yeah, go figure. And I've lost 43 pounds. I don't know if it shows. <sighs> Since divorce. And... Yeah, let's see. Um, what else did I... I was showing you this. Okay, I love this. Um, a friend of mine drew it for me, and I don't think I showed it off before. I showed it off on Insta, and I showed it off on Facebook. Um, and I'll show it to you guys on here, which most of you already are on things. I don't know. Um... And I suck at DMing. I don't know. I just suck at small talk. I just suck in general. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah. So. Hopefully you saw that good. Well. Hopefully you saw that well. <laughs> in my hallway. Or whatever. Um, yeah, so that is pretty awesome. I love it. And he drew it himself, which is really awesome because he's not like an artist. <laughs> what, Lola? Why don't you go lay on the bed? Silly girl. Come here. No? Okay, fine, whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, he just done, like, models, like, model cars and stuff. Yeah. Back when we were together in the day. He has asthma and he used to get primatine mist, which was, I don't know if they still the counter inhaler. And when he was done with the bottles, he used to peel the plastic off and then he used to paint the jars. And I had a couple of those before I moved to Mexico when I got married. Um, it sucks because I had this little blue box and I had a whole bunch of like really sentimental stuff in there that I didn't want to get rid of. With some pictures that my friend drew. I still have pictures of those. Another friend completely. And then um, I had those bottles and I had a scrapbook from when my ex from England came over to visit. I had the ticket stubs for the airplane and all the things, events that we went to while he was here. It had pictures of us together. It had a lock of his hair because I'm weird like that. Um, it just, yeah, and it had letter. It had letters from him in it. And, uh, like, I forget what else. Like, our, I think I still have our rings. Um, so, yeah, like, and that box got left behind when, with my other, like, a lot of stuff got left behind. Because we packed in, like, an hour. We got married at the courthouse, and then we ran off to Mexico. <laughs> so, yeah. That wasn't crazy at all. <laughs> I, yeah. Um, but, hey, now I have this awesome picture by this guy. So, you know, yay. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I don't even think he knows how much it meant to me. Like, when I, I got home, I was having a crappy day because I just had filed the restraining order against this person, this ex that I have. And, like, um, I was dealing with a lot of crap. <laughs> and I opened up my mailbox, and there's this huge manila envelope. Oops. <laughs> Huge manila envelope. And <laughs> you saw my address first a second. I don't care. Whatever. Um, yeah, and I open it up and there's that picture. And I'm just like, shut the front door. I said it like 30 times, but I didn't say front door. Um, which I should have because I need to swear less. So yeah, I was just I almost was crying. I was so moved because I know he's not a very good artist, drawer. He doesn't draw very well. There we go. Um, man, I love being able to try to talk properly again and use big words again and not be accused of trying to make people feel stupid. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel so less stifled now in my life. 
ah, and I love talking to somebody who uses big words as well and is very intelligent. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. But yeah, I love that picture, and ah, I don't think he knows how much it meant to me. It's like that right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little things, little things. Um, you know, and we write each other like all the time and it's like 10 page freaking letters back and forth and stuff and yeah um i've known him god i've known him since i was like 16 yeah and yeah um but yeah you you catch the drift about me writing him yeah whatever Poop happens, and when you trust the wrong person, more poop happens. And I understand that all too well because, you know, honestly, I could be in that predicament right now myself. Because I remember back a few years ago, I was looking at my record and uh, I was arrested because somebody had called the police on me saying that I was abusing them and I wasn't. But in Albuquerque, they have to take somebody. So, yeah, thankfully the charges were dropped. So, you know, like when you trust the wrong person, sometimes poop can happen. And, um, but I know said person and they've never been in trouble with the law before. So, and they've always been a person with a job and two computer science degrees and, <laughs> you know, one for hardware, one for software, um, you know, never been in trouble with the law, and I just, yeah, I understand, though, like, love makes you do dumb things and trust people who you shouldn't trust, so, and then we're just friends, but it's a really nice friendship, and yeah, like, I just love really, really little things like that. Like, I don't need money. I don't need fancy stuff. I need gifts from the heart. <laughs> That's what makes me happy. So, anyways, um, <laughs> just a lot going on in life, and I'm gonna measure my waist and my hips and crap. I guess I'm all like waited so long. <laughs> and I keep saying I'm going to do it, but let me see real quick. Okay. Well, uh, wait. Wow. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. I have so much I want to talk about, but stuff I can't talk about. But I really, that's about it, to be honest. I mean, that was the big thing that's really shook my world, and I don't know how to recover from right now. <laughs> I really don't. But. It explains a lot, and life goes on. And the first thing I did was go and get tested, and everything's fine. So, hey, yay. <laughs> and, I mean, it's like if I, I love, I don't know how to talk about things anymore because everything is so sensitive. I love gay guys. <laughs> and... I, I, I could have been like the best freaking beard in the world if that's what somebody needed because I just love that person that much. If I would have known, it wouldn't have been anything. Like the lying is the part that gets to me. And the denial on their part because they're still in denial. Um... Even with proof, even with solid proof, I'm crazy. So, and I don't know what I'm talking about. And who am I going to believe? Those people or that person? Mmm, those people. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I mean, it's that part that bugs me. So, I'm completely, you know, like I don't, if I was in a relationship with somebody who... You know, I don't get down like that. Like, just in the fact that if I'm with somebody, I'm with somebody and they're with me. I don't care. Like, I... 
Okay, what's the word? I'm strictly dickly. So, I mean, I guess, whatever. But, like, I don't share. <laughs> I don't share. I don't care who it is. I do not share. <laughs> I'm not into poly. I'm not into anything like that. Uh, like, I, I don't care. You're going to just have to only be with, you know, me. <laughs> so, yeah. But if, like, we're upfront and honest, I don't, I wouldn't do that for anyone else. But I would have done it for that person, you know, because I just really loved them and was with them for that long. And, you know, like, I understand, I suppose. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but the next relationship I want is going to be open and honest, hopefully. <laughs> so I sure hope so. Because I plan on being open and honest. I love honesty. I love the truth. Shower me in the truth. The actual real truth. Not just some truth that you've made up in your head either. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, and by the way, this is from Torrid. I got it on clearance. It was like 13 bucks. So, okay, and you measure with the shirt on, so. Let's see. Six. It's like six. We'll say 60. <sighs> okay. Now these big old hips. Hi, Lila. These big old hips. Okay. 78. That has gone down. I definitely know because that was 90. I don't know. Should we do the Bastara? <laughs> nah. I'll do my neck. <laughs> neck is gone down. It was 19. It was 20. Now it's 18 and a half. I guess we can do this area. I never knew how to do the chest area. Like, are we supposed to do it under the boobies or on the boobies? Wow, it's 63 on the boobies. So... Ouch. Maybe I'll do. See, I had to get this shirt because, like, somebody says I'm evil. I want to get, like, three more <laughs> in different sizes. So, you know, like, I'll still have it. <laughs> Plus, you know, like, with Torrid, you have to get what you can while it's there. Because I wish I could get another shirt that says I work hard so my dogs can have a better life. But... I don't have them anymore. I'm like, so if that one gets a hole or something, I'm pooped. But yeah, like when I get like more because this one is awesome and like I have to live up to my evil queen reputation. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's it for this video. Sorry for rambling a lot. I don't know. That's my life. <laughs> And I, you know, doing the best I can, recovering from this hurricane of the last million years, a uh, storm that I've constantly gone in and out of. I think I finally learned my lesson this time. And I'm finally coming out of my shell, and I'm finally somewhat happy. I mean, like, I get moments, and I'm not saying I don't miss things. But they're not worth the other things. So, you know, being isolated, having the anxiety, the stress, the bills, it's not worth it. I love having friends and I love going out and I love doing things, which I do. I went to a party. I volunteer at the museum. I go to church. I mean, like, yeah, it's weird. Who is this social butterfly? <laughs> okay. 
I mean, I'm still having anxiety, but I'm dealing with it. Okay. Laters.